are the God of miracles, signs, and wonders. And we believe in your power. Hallelujah. God, we give you praise. You are the God of miracles, signs, and wonders. We believe in your power. We believe in your power. You're the God.
Christ is risen. He is risen indeed, and I'm excited and glad about it. Praise God for this time and opportunity to come and to share in this time of prayer, and I hope you feel at home. If, you, if not, let me welcome you to this time of prayer. You ought to make this your home. You ought to be comfortable here. This ought to be a place where you don't have any anxiety, no worries. Why? And if you do have any worries, well, you've come to the right place as well because we've come to give all of those over to God. We're going to cast all of our cares upon him. Why? Because he cares and can care. He has the ability, ability to do so, to care for us. So welcome to this time of prayer. We ask that you would like what we're doing and share and comment, respond to Christ is risen. Give us your I am statement today. I am ready to lead us in prayer for this time of sharing. As we pray on Mondays for those who are sick. We praise God. Hey, subscribe to our YouTube channel as, as well, as well. Subscribe to that. I'm excited about our devotional and what God is doing with that. And of course, I'm going to be reading the scripture that comes from the devotional today. Did you have a chance to do that already this morning? Man, it was a devotional about, you know, getting going and, you know, get up, get, 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 get about it, do it, be about it. And, and I'm always up for that. I'm always trying to wake up and, uh, you know, find the energy uh, to give God and to give my day and to give people that the Lord allows me to encounter on the day. And I really, really, really appreciate that. So our devotional, just keep that in mind. Thank God for those of you who walked with us in the fast. Let me mention right now that we ended our fast on yesterday. And I didn't say much about it on yesterday, but we celebrate the fact that we've gotten through these 21 days of fasting and praying. And let me say, keep on praying, though. If you want to stretch your fasting beyond the Lord is leading you to do that, then do that. But definitely keep on, keep on praying. And we are praying together and we're reading together in our devotional. I want to join in and let me give a shout out to the Bethany Baptist Church, Pastor Douglas Randall. They are in a seven day prayer and fasting stretch. And uh, I just want to walk with them with that as well. I'm not necessarily fasting with them, but I'm definitely praying with them and I've submitted a prayer request request to Pastor Doug to the Bethany Church to be included uh, in there. Listen, y'all, how about this? When it comes to prayer, yes, it is. The, it, this, this statement is true. The more, the merrier. When it comes to prayer, the more, the merrier. And let me ask you another question. Let me ask you another question today. What has God done for you today? Hey, just name one thing, just one thing. Don't need a whole list. I know the list can be endless even just between the time you woke up and now. But just give me one thing that God did for you today. I'm going to ask you that every now and then. And, uh, and uh, Come on, comment that, right, uh, post that up right now if you can. Lastly, don't forget about pulling up and praying. And uh, I want to continue to keep that on, on the foreground. And really, it's just me telling you to pray. If you're by area hospital, pull up and, and pray and pray there. All right, we're praying for the sick today. I want to read today's scripture that comes out of our daily devotional book, God's Purpose for Your Life, January the 25th. It's called Get Up and Get Going. The scripture is Exodus chapter number 14, verse 15, and it says, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the sons of Israel to do what? Go forward. Tell them to go forward. Hey, I'm telling you today, go forward. Come on, say it back to me. Pastor, go forward. Too many of us are stagnant. We're stuck in a rut. We're not moving forward. And then some of us are actually going backwards. We're actually going backwards. But I hear the Lord saying to us today, go forward. Hey, let's do our model prayer. And we'll pray for the sick. And I definitely want to pray for you who are with me right now in this time of prayer and those who will join us later, all right? Y'all ready? Uh, let's pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, 
the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord, we know your word reminds us that we should not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrows that fly by day, nor the pestilence that roams in darkness, nor the plague that ravishes at noon. We trust you, O God. We pray, O merciful God, that you would hear our prayer, hear our fervent prayer, our passionate prayer, as we stand in the gap and intercede for all who are suffering and dealing with, Lord, this coronavirus. Pray, Lord, that those who've been touched by it, they'll get the proper care that they need. Not only that, Lord, comfort if any of them are hurting or suffering. But, Lord, ultimately we pray for healing, complete healing. And, Lord, before I move on, let me just thank you for those you have brought through it, those that have recovered, those that are healing or have been healed, those, Lord, that have survived or been delivered of it. We just bless your name and thank you for them. And, Lord, those, especially believers that you've called home, this seems to be marked down as the cause of death. We still praise you for that. And Lord, we know sometimes the righteous find refuge even in death. We thank you for the healing of that in the name of Jesus. I pray for their families, Lord, to be comforted in all that they are enduring and going through. God, for those who may be sick presently, we pray even not just for them, but for their caregivers, their families, their neighbors who love on them and try to aid and help them. Lord, shield them as well. Shield them from the onslaught of this vicious virus. Give peace, Lord, to those who grieve again. And protect and guide those who strive, Lord, to find a cure. These scientists, God, and thank you for the vaccines that that are out and those that are coming out. And Lord, I just pray, I know, yes, you are perfect, but man is not and even through human hands. But I pray, God, that the best viruses will emerge and be on the scene. Uh, The fear of some who uh, don't want to take it, Lord, I I pray you give them peace, Lord, to be able uh, to walk through what they need to walk through, Lord. Lord, help us rise above our fears, and we ask this, and we intercede upon those who are going through. God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. Can I just praise you right now, God? Because we know you hear us, praise you and thank you for the privilege of prayer. Thank, praise and thank you, God, that you allow us to come into the throne room. We bless your name, God. You are our God and our King, the Holy One of Israel, the Holy One of the church, the Holy One in the world, God. We bless your name, God. Lord, I turn my attention to thanking you for those who are praying with me now on this wonderful Monday. We start our week off, Lord, we worship you on yesterday corporately. Now we're praying corporately. And Lord, I know sometimes anything we do can can get boring and can be stagnant for us. I pray, Lord, that we have fresh wind and fire and energy. Lord, as we pray that we won't grow weary in it, that we won't grow tired of it or even delusional in it, that, Lord, we won't lose our faith and even believe that there's nothing to it. Lord, I know prayer is more than just us talking. It's more than just us going through a mental exercise. It is more than us symbolically just casting all of our issues upon you. No, prayer, Lord, is a tool you've given us, and it is real. It is a tool you've given us, Lord, to help us with our anxiety and our stresses, Lord. We don't have to worry about anything when we can pray about everything. You said be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, let your request be made known unto God. And we've done just that today. We have many more, but as we pray today, Lord, we focused on the sick. So I focus now on those who are praying for the sick, those who are caring for the sick by praying for them, covering them, bathing them in prayer, standing in the gap, interceding, God. Thank you for this prayer group. Thank you for these prayer warriors. Thank you, Lord, for those who are just set on getting a prayer through. Bless them, cover them. Some of them may be even in the category that we talked about even today. Bless and heal, Father. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah and hallelujah. Amen. Bless your saints. Thank you so much for being with me today. Praying 
with me today. Coming in the prayer room today, we bless God for you and thank God for you. I'm always encouraged when I see people logging on. I'm always encouraged when I see you commenting. Hey, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget three things you should, you should have commented on today without, you know, and you can go beyond that. One is, hey, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. The other is your I am statement. And then lastly, give me one thing that God has done for you today. Hey, I love you with the love of the Lord. Hugs and kisses to you all. God bless you. Talk to you later. Hopefully see you tomorrow, 12 noon as well, if the Lord says the same. Bye-bye. This song is for everybody that feel you've been skipped over. God's getting ready to call your name. JP, help me say it.